There's a storm brewing. You guys might be able to hear it. Thunder and lightning and wind combined by forces that we can pretend to comprehend. We can predict, we can guess, we can think we know. But the expectations of this storm from this afternoon, when I first heard about it till now, they've changed. The fear in my belly that I felt when I first considered this storm, the possibility of tornadoes, the horrors of past traumas, you know what? The storm shifted strongly out towards the empty fields, the crops that need the water. It shifted away from smashing my home to bits and putting me and my kids in danger. We think we know, don't we? We think we can predict. We like to be afraid of things that we can predict, don't we? I love to tell myself stories, to make up nightmares and then try to live them somehow. Self-sabotage doesn't even begin to explain what sometimes happens, not in my mind, but in my chest, in my belly. Do you self-sabotage? Do you feel fear where there should be peace? For me, I was strongly concerned about a few things and then I took to this. I took to that. It's a collection of these Psalms and Proverbs from the Old Testament of the Bible and as many scream, as many shout and say, whisper, tweet, post, you just need to get back to your Bible. And I am one of those people that desperately wants to believe in a God that lives. The Bible itself says he lives and I want to believe. I want to believe that he's alive, that he speaks through more than just the text of a book. Yet it isn't just a book, as I am reminded. Things like today. The turmoil in me ceased as if it was told to. Peace came as if it was supposed to. The worries about this storm changed. The worries in my heart changed. Decisions, choices, lines in the sand. Sometimes we're so afraid, aren't we? We self-sabotage by saying that we're not gonna stick to our guns. We're not gonna believe ourselves. I've lost. <laughs> it's hard to believe myself when I say something, much less when other people tell me things. I used to be my own brand, my own one-man band, show business, merch maker, designer. I used to do it all, and it actually clicked until it didn't. Just took a couple of deaths, people that I was blood-related to, and my everything ceased. My back exploded, my brain fell apart, and my family was left to clean up. Something they had not signed on to do, something they had not hoped or even feared came to them as something that was required. As my blood friend Dave, friend beyond blood, said, any other woman would have left. Eventually, they would have had enough of you going quiet, not going and getting a job, not changing the world like you promised any woman would have gone. And mine didn't. I sometimes feel like I'm trying to self-sabotage that and worry 
on her behalf. Tell her that I suck. As if she doesn't know that sometimes I suck. Yet, fourteen years of marriage means more than occasionally sucking. Turns out. For the married folk. For the married folk who have held their spouse's hair while they puked. Thought they were going to bleed to death. Gun car wrecks with their spouses. All those things that you worry about. Things that scare you. That stuff eventually goes from being like living a nightmare. To knowing that you're with the one you're supposed to be with. Knowing that you've been changed by your choices with them forever. My marriage means more than my fears. My faith came in for the save when I was trying to pull myself apart in my own mind. My faith. It's not enough to call it my faith. I feel like it's this... It's this thing beyond words, and I like words, I like storytelling, but this thing with the divine is beyond religion, beyond buildings made with hands. People don't understand when I say my faith, my relationship with Christ, my understanding that grows of the divine. They don't understand. They think of things they've seen, they think of jokes they've heard. Not of God made flesh, died and resurrected and ascended. They don't know. They think what they want to think or what they've been told. The jokes they've heard. The things you think. The jokes you've heard. I pray you get a chance to contemplate in a free space of no judgment on your own steam, your own fuel, curiosity, open-mindedness above all. I pray that God will show himself to you in a way that you cannot deny because it will change your life. It will not make it easier, but the richness and beauty, the vibrance of life is so much greater knowing that you have a purpose. I pray that you find that purpose. I pray that you find every purpose that you are made for, and you get the strength to keep marching towards it, no matter what. God bless you. I'm praying for you in my heart. Good talk.